in here today? What, everybody in the whole wide world? Absolutely. <laughs> so, not Lego. Be a bigger box than that, wouldn't it? There we go. This paper struggles to get in it. Right. Oh, the first thing off the top of the box is for you, Mr. B. So, I'll let you have a little look, see at that. Wearing Donald today. Ooh, it's a hoodie. Oh, that's awesome. Excellent. Look, it says, oh, I love that. It's even better in real life. Big Thunder. Wildest ride in the wilderness. We all love that ride, don't we? No in, matter where it is. In West Ham Claret, I might add. Sorry, Maroon or whatever it's called on the website. Claret. You just write the Sorry, Claret. <laughs> so there you go. It's a hoodie. Get it right. And we can take it to London now. There's the hood. Because the weather's not brilliant today. So it's just plain with this logo here. Amanda's designs are always quite subtle. Right, so if you show your thing, I'll pop it on. Okay, so the next thing... Oh, hang on, I'll leave that one till last. Let's, look, let's get mine out. Because I've got a hoodie as well. A hoodie. So, my hoodie says... I, I realised I didn't have this um, design from Amanda's collection. Don't mind me, I'm just in fantasy land. And normally <laughs> this would come in gold, but I asked her to do rose gold because, you know, I'm basic, so... <laughs> How does it feel? Oh, comfy. Right size? Yes, I think so. Excellent. And I've got a... <sighs> I'm in. I went for purple because I haven't got anything purple from her before. So have I got to put mine on? Because it is quite warm in here at the moment. <laughs> I will be wearing it at some really at some point during the weekend. So oh, I love it in the rose gold. That that colour just looks so good. Love it. Wow, this ride. I can't in believe I didn't have that that design before. What? What was I thinking? Right. So, you look nice in that colour. I like that. It's one of my favourite colours. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Right, so hang on, let's pop that there. Okay. Um, there's one thing that we can't show because it's a Christmas present. Oh, who for? Your daughter. Oh, of course, yeah. He forgets I what I order. Sippy cups. Disney Christmas Festive sippy one. cups. We love these. Had to get I've it. got tea, Pip's got water. I've got water, I'm getting boring. I'm looking a bit shiny because I'm just straight out of the shower. So but... it's Sunday morning, weather's super. Yeah, Roger's here, Roger the reindeer. I've got a different inspired by magic print in, still Christmas themed. But it's Merry Christmas to me today. You had Lego last time. <laughs> the Diz Tea World Mystery Tea arrived. We knew it was going to be this colour t-shirt and we knew it would be snack related, but it is so good. <sighs> Look at that design. Tastes better Mickey shape. So we've got a Mickey premium bar on there, a pretzel, a candy apple, a donut and a doll whip. What more could you want? I'd like all three, all five of those right now, actually. It's... Can't be a Mickey shape thing. Can you? I just need to wear it, Disney, please open the so that was absolutely Stop. super. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really would recommend if anybody wants to have a punt at the mystery tea or the mystery jumper when it gets a bit colder again, um, go for it. I have never, never dis been disappointed. And the mystery item, because she collabs with a small business, uh, was from the Wiley Fox this time. They've got some amazing vintage Disney stuff. And in the parcel was this. So it's a plain notebook but it's a vintage VHS videotape style oh, okay. cover and it's the um, original movie and it's also um got a protective plastic one on and not everyone got the same one so I mean I got Cinderella I know a friend of mine got the Lion King so everybody got something different but every, every time there's been a mystery collab item they've all been fantastic as well so yep definitely give it a punt everybody who remembers going and hiring a video down blockbusters and you had to rewind it yeah before you took it back, and it was really annoying if you got one home and someone hadn't rewound it. It's very annoying. VHS, Betamax. Keeping on the theme of t-shirts, because clearly I don't have enough. <laughs> Is ever after this time my other um, enabler with t-shirts and Disney apparel. She's brought out a. Are you wagging your finger at Natasha? So rude. I love Natasha. She's <laughs> she's done a Donald and Daisy Duck inspired design. So, how fab is that? You've got Donald's shirt, Daisy's dress, shoes, bows, sailor's hat. It's 
absolutely fab. This came in all of her apparel items, so leggings, jumper, dress, vest, shorts, skirt. It's a really fun print, that. It's it? really, really fun. I love it. And it comes in accessories as well. And the material for the t-shirts is so soft and it's so light, so it's going to be lovely in that Florida heat. So, I can't wait to wear that one. And this was one of her original designs, but I keep looking at it and I bought the jumper because I loved it so much, so I had to get the t-shirt as well. So she has her own castle design. And if you look really closely, in the gate, the top of the gate of the castle, there's a hidden Mickey. You ever notice that? Oh, very cool, yeah. <laughs> And she's, she recently redid it this year for the, uh, the deeper pink and the blue for the, uh, for the new decor that the castle has. So I couldn't resist that as well. So Nice. I think us, us Brits are all going to be walking down Main Street like Beyonce. We're gonna, we've been buying so much um, Just merch and Just spill your first quick serve meal down it. Oh no. Both white based t-shirts. That might be a bad move actually. Might have to have my <laughs> serviette, you know, like that. Bib. Yeah. <laughs> Disney Bibs, there's a there's a business opportunity for someone. I'll leave links for Disney World and Adult Disney Bibs. Is ever after. Unfortunately, my brand rep code for Disney World is now no longer because us brand reps had a three month tenure and it's finished. But I'm still a Disney World three super, months. super fan. I know, where did three months go? So I'm an EEA super fan and DTW super fan. And always will be. And that concludes Happy Christmas to me. Where's mine then? Uh, you had a Lego set last week. <laughs> Another Lego set. This pile over there is getting... It's... It's down there somewhere. Where is it up to me? Is it up to about my shoulder? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. There it is. That's all my ears covered up with a, with a, a dust sort of scarf covering them up, by the way. <laughs> Hardly any there. Plus the August, uh, the August range is coming out now. Oh man! Are there any good brickheads though? I like brickheads. No, uh, I think maybe. I think they're doing a few more of those pets. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you like your animals, but I'm not sure about characters. I have to check. Okay. What are we doing now? Pete sniffs. Well, I think it's time for a Pete sniffs wax melts. Yes. Shall we drag it in? Let's drag it in. Ready? That'd be the waxwork of me. <laughs> Please not. I guess it's not actually wax melts, it's candles. That's Pete sniffs candles. I did a, an order from the American company, Magic Candle Company, the ones that sponsor the Diz Unplugged. Um, used a cheeky 20% off code, which covered the international shipping. Still had to pay some customs. Ouch. Was it 50 quid or something? It was quite a lot, but it was quite a big order, to be fair. I did go in with about about four other friends did join me in this order. You know who you are. Your parcels will be coming soon. Um, I know who they are. You do know Troublemakers, who, who they are. <laughs> so rude. So rude. Um, Especially that Hayley. Oh, leave. she didn't order anything, actually. Did she not? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tarnishing right. her with other I've people's I've got two Christmas-themed candles, so let's help see how Pete does. Okay. Am I going for a Disney theme? No, just smell? no. You're not going to get these. Just tell me what you think they all smell right. of. Okay, so it's and they're all wood wicks, the ones from Magic Candles, so they make that very satisfying little crackly noise when you light them. Oh, that's very oh candy. Was that a a positive? Oh, I'm getting caramel. Okay, I'm getting cakes. I'm getting everything that's sweet and sticky and yummy <laughs> yummy in Main Street. That's what I'm getting. That's really nice. Oh, it me meets with approval. Phew. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't know. Something like Mickey shaped that you get on your T-shirt. Okay. Very nice. It's, I think there's... What is it? A tiny bit of gingerbread in there as well, do you think? Oh yeah, it could a be. A whisker, whisker of gingerbread. Oh, I've seen it now. Oh, you've seen it now, there you go. Strangely, Pete's absolutely right. It was, you, you actually, I'm going to give you a full point for that. 
Haunted yes, Holiday. It's called, hang on, let's do, let's do the lid because it's probably easier to see. It's called Haunted Holiday. Really nice. But it is caramelly, cakey, gingerbready, sweet, yummy. Is that based on the um, actually, yeah, there's house. a gingerbread house on the lid, isn't there? That is G -flow. absolutely super. I don't quite know why it's called Haunted Holiday, but it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, and these are these are eight ounce candles, and they're a thousand pounds. They're quite expensive. Sixteen dollars ninety five, but that was with twenty percent off. But that covered the shipping, so I did pay that for them plus some customs. Seventeen bucks. Treat yourself. We still can't go to America, so what are you going to do? So I've got a crackly wick. Yes. I said that just a minute ago. Did you? Yeah. Sounds like a fire. Yeah. Well, you thought something was a light once, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> right, so what's okay. next? Second one, we've got a sort of a pinky red one. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter about the name. I really like that one. I'm getting sweets again. Candy floss. Strawberries, raspberries. What's the thing I love at Christmas? Everything's got to be watched. Me. <laughs> I love you all the time. <laughs> it's not candy cane, is it? I can't. There's no mint. Are you not getting mint? Um, well, maybe. It's very subtle. Do you like it though? Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Yes, it's a, it's called Christmas Parade. Bringing the vacation to you. Yeah, it's very nice. I'll leave a link for Magic Candle Company as well. Yeah, it's meant to be sweeties and candy canes. Oh, okay. So. Getting more sweeties and candy canes. Oh, okay. So, that's that one. Uh, the, because they, the Magic Candle Company sponsored is unplugged, they have their own discount code, which is Disney Info, and that does get you 15% off. So that's always worth using if you were thinking of giving yourself a little bit of a treat. Money off. I, I did order money off. quite a few candles because I am thinking ahead to Christmas and. I don't like going around the shops at Christmas time when they're absolutely heaving. Especially even not now in a pandemic, so. Does that conclude Pete Sniff's Christmas candle? Are we giving you 1.75 out of two? Oh, 1.9, I think. Are we doing arti technical merit and artistic interpretation now, like skating? Yes. <laughs> yes, that concludes Pete Sniff's candles. We've got a little haul, just popped into town. It's not yes. particularly exciting. Wrapping paper. Good stuff from Primark, so Disney themed. Some Toy Story one. Excellent. And a Minnie Mouse one. One pound fifty each. Got to get your little bits of Disney somewhere, so, aren't you? Because sometimes all the wrapping paper we can find if we need for a birthday present is Christmas, which yeah. is obviously no good. Right, these need to go straight into the fr freezer. These we mentioned on a previous vlog, these are absolutely... Scrummy! They are literally like an actual magnum and they're four for £1.35. That so is a bargain, isn't UK it? peeps, seriously get to Sainsbury's. I'm going to put these in the freezer right now. Mm. Right, we've got some Christmas candles. That's tonight's pudding sorted. And she's back. <laughs> back in the room. Loaf of bread. <laughs> So exciting. Yes, loaf of bread. How exciting. Essential. For our Christmas in July barbecue with our family, we thought we'd grab... Chris technically Christmas cake. Sort of Christmas cake, because yes. then we can sort of chop it up into little slices for everybody. Yeah. Not sure people are going to want it in the summer heat, but hey. And then tonight's dinner, we decided to go for a tie in a box. Taste Thailand. So it's got chicken panang curry. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, beef noodles. T moodles? Noodles. Beef moodles. Thai green curry, sticky jasmine rice, and Thai star pork and vegetable spring rolls. And that was Tenor. ten pounds in MS. We got that because I can't be bothered to cook. It's today. not in the mood. Yeah. So we're going to have that for a change. Yeah. And ice creams afterwards. And then the most exciting thing is I've got new glasses. So I've got some fancy schmancy. Karen Millen, wasn't she in Doctor Who? And Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyway. Oh, that's no, Karen Gillan, isn't it? Oh, so you've probably seen me wearing these glasses. These are my reading glasses for close work. And my sunglasses are distance glasses. I've had my eyes tested because I've had migraines increasing in frequency. And I think my eye sight was something to do with that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Potentially. So, got my eyes tested. And yes, it turns out I need a reading glasses change. So I've gone all out. 
and gone for very focals so that I don't have to keep Hurrah. fiddling about with two pairs of glasses, which I have to say is quite annoying. So, what do we think, everybody? Answers on a postcard? <whistles> now I've just got to get used to looking you, through. Can you see me? Yes, I can they see They work you. then. <laughs> it's getting used to where my distance vision is here yeah. and then my reading vision is here. So I try to read there. But it's, oh yeah, there we go. Like go like that, it's out of focus. Go like that and it's in focus. Yep. So I've just got to get, really get used to these. And um, they're also reactors, so they'll be my sunglasses as well. Yeah. You yeah. can try them out in a conservatory. I will hang on to these though, because my distance sunglasses prescription didn't change, so I'm going to hang on to these. So yes, they cost. They were quite expensive, but you know it's your eyesight, and it's yeah, it's not worth. First pair you tried on as well, weren't they? Yep, kept coming back to this pair, didn't we? Yep. Are they sitting straight? Yep. Okay, cool. So yes, fancy schmancy new glasses. So, Mrs. B, here's one for you. Go on then. I've just written a book called Fifty Shades of Gravy. And really, what's that like? Really saucy. <laughs> right, people, that's <laughs> your lot until December. <laughs> really saucy. I'm out. Oh. <laughs> Bye. So, it's Christmas in July, and I think I can hear Mr. B watching a Christmas film. You are. Are you watching Elf? <laughs> I think someone's watching Elf. Well, it is Christmas in July. I'll let you off. Santa. I thought I recognised the dialogue upstairs. Yeah, okay, why not? Even though it's boiling today. <laughs> Yeah, but it's day of the year. Let's watch Elf. With the tree on and the lights are on. Yay! And the fan is next to the tree. That's how warm it is. <laughs> Haven't got a cup of tea again. So, last little bit, round off this Christmas in July. It's a kind of good news, bad news sort of uh, thing, isn't it? Yeah. We were keeping our fingers crossed, but, well. This is basically a trip up, mate. Yes, so most of you will know we had a trip booked to Walt Disney World uh, end of August. That has gone in the bin. Yeah, so we cancelled DVC, didn't we, a couple of days ago, We're hoping the flights would get cancelled. We're recording this on the uh, 22nd yeah. of July. Yeah, because with DVC, if you cancel 31 days or more before check-in, you don't get any sort of um, penalty. If you cancel 31 days or less, your points have to go into a holding account, which you then have to make a reservation and then use check in with that reservation to, in two months or less. Yeah, I mean, know what I mean. The opportunity window closes right there. And obviously we can't do that over here no. because we have no clue when the border's going to open. So we took the decision to cancel DVC and I cancelled Premier in at Gatwick. And then lo and behold, this morning... The flight from Gatwick was cancelled on the 24th? Yeah, 24th of August, the flight to Orlando International has been cancelled. They haven't cancelled the one home yet, but I know they will. That will so. follow. Yeah, give it a couple of days, I'm sure they will. We're going to get a refund on that. Sometimes. Yeah, and then wait for PBC sales? Yeah. For a trip we have planned for, for next trip. spring. Yeah. So that left us going, well, we've got two weeks off work, we can't change the leave, shall we do something? Well, no, we, we were going to do something, weren't oh, we? Oh, we're definitely going to do something. I um, think everyone needs to do something now. We contemplated Disneyland Paris, but then, of course... <laughs> yep. <laughs> it, do that. They went on to their weird... They're on the amber list, but you've still got a quarantine red list. Whatever, hybrid thing that the government have said yep. about France. So, so that was a no-no. We do have a Disney Magic at Sea cruise book for the end of September, so that's very exciting. <laughs> but then... Some of my friends who really like P&O cruises said, well, they're doing staycation cruises. And then another friend of mine, hello Claire, said, 
Well, if you've got the blue light card paper because you work for the NHS, they do pretty good discounts. Give them a ring and see what they can do. So well, we, you had a nose about and you see what you could get. We've managed to get a very, very good discount on a seven night cruise on their brand new spangly ship, the Iona. I'll insert a picture of it so you can see it. It is massive. Crazy. It looks city on stunning. Yes, yeah, city on the water, isn't it? So we have booked um, late August. It's within the window that we've got leave off work. Yeah. Um, a balcony cabin. It essentially goes from Southampton, goes up the Cornish coast, and comes back again. But it's the whole seven nights, so we're actually going to get to basically a week off. Relax, getting... decompress, and of course we're going to vlog it. A yeah. brand new ship, why would we not vlog it? Getting so. fed and watered. Mm. Can't wait. So we have got something to look forward to, yeah. even though it's not like Disney. Like takes Disney things with me. No, why not? Got to be done, isn't it? <laughs> Haven't got all this merch and accessories to not wear it. <laughs> so that's our update. I don't think there's anything we can start, is there? No. So hopefully our next trip, fingers crossed, to Walt Disney World is December. Yes, that's our next punt now, isn't it? So gives us a few extra months. Please let the borders be open by then, because Canada have now said they will accept UK double vaccinated uh, tourists from I think it's September or something or other. So just yeah. gonna wait for Mr. Biden to. No, you're waffling now. Stop it. Sorry. He says that's the sexy colour of Boris, doesn't he? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching Christmas in July. Yeah, we've had great fun filming it. Um, probably won't do one next year. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, if you want any more of my, uh, my festive cheer and my Christmas crackers, just watch the previous Vlogmases. Yes, there's two Vlogmases, yeah. isn't there? 20, 2019 and 2020. I'll put them in the cards at the end so you can see. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. So next up will be a London trip, day one. Travel day. Oh, yes. That's exciting. So, so a mini trip week. vlog. Uh, that's it. Yep. Thanks for watching. <laughs> please like, please subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Please, please like. like. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>